Hey guys, I'm Ryan Wright. Hi, I'm Lauren Gaw. And, uh, well, I'm sure you guys have all heard about Robin Williams, and it's a horrible event, horrible tragedy. Um, but I just really want to just do a quick video because this guy really did touch my life when I was younger, like much younger. Um, I remember growing up on Mrs. Doubtfire a lot. That was one of my favorite movies. It was, it was incredible. <laughs> it's like a classic, <laughs> you know, it's so fucking funny. And then also him as the genie in Aladdin was yeah. something. I mean, if you yeah. really think about how talented he was, he, uh, Birdcage was mm -hmm. one of my favorite movies. Um, Dead Poet Society, he was also oh, a yeah. great dramatic actor. And Oh yeah, Good Will Hunting. There, there's a movie he did with Robert De Niro called The Awakenings. Have you seen that? Mm-mm. Um, there's this one scene where he breaks down and every single time I watch it I, I just start to bawl my eyes out like right. he's a fantastic actor he he was one of those actors who just knew how to feel right. and, you know like it was so instinctual for this guy to just be able to go out there and just go with whatever he feels like doing you know yeah. it, he had such freedom and it that's what was really inspiring to me about it you know like a lot of people say like when I perform I like I kind of don't give a shit and stuff. And I think I picked up a lot of that from him too. Mm. Because one thing that I, I'll never forget this, when I was really young, I think it was for the Fisher King, where, we're doing a video, guys. It was for the Fisher King, where one, where he said that in every single take or every single moment, there's always something funny you can do. And a lot of the time comedians like, don't really think of that aspect. I mean, he knew that any moment you could actually make funny and it's just all about finding that and discovering that. And that philosophy kind of just got embedded in me when it comes to anything that's comedic, mm -hmm. you know? And he also knew how to have heart though at the same time. Like he was just, he was fantastic. He, he, he literally was fantastic. Yeah. He will definitely be missed, but he's making God laugh now. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm sure he made God laugh before. You're probably right. Yeah. Jesus laughed a lot too. Okay. Mm -hmm. All those religions laughed. Right? Yes. And something like that. Yeah, that sounds right. That yeah. Sounds right. <laughs> but no, um, you know, like last year, um, I, I, I had a couple of deaths that happened in my family. And one thing I've really learned, and it sounds so cliche, but it really is the best thing you can do, uh, is really just remember what was great about them. Because, mm -hmm. you know, from my understanding, it was. A lot of people are suspecting that it was a suicide right. and you know it's a horrible way to go out and the guys struggle with drug addiction forever and, and but still like remembering like all the great things he's done like I remember even watching a stand-up comedy special on HBO he would never done stand-up before and I mean wrong he had done stand-up before <laughs> but he had never had a special before oh. and oh man that guy was just he was something else and I just wanted to say a quick thank you to Robin Williams yeah. for all the things you've done for us. We literally just got the news a few minutes ago. Yes, I think he's definitely touched a lot of people's lives, including both of ours, and I'm sure a lot of people watching, so. Yeah, yeah. well, thank you, Robin. <laughs> You're a great guy, and we'll see you in the afterlife. 